Hi, my name is LaQuinta Washington, and I was diagnosed with stage two triple negative breast cancer in 2020. Um, how I found out I had breast cancer was um, I did a kind of Um, I was getting ready to take a shower and I found a knot actually. And I went to the emergency room and it was like, uh, it's, I thought it was a, um, maybe a burl or something, uh, something that they can lance and get it out. And he was like, well, it's not nothing we can help you with. Um, you need to go see a doctor to get further, um, seek further medical, I guess, attention you will see. Um, from there, I went to, to the women's clinic on Expressway and seen Dr. Mark. And he did um, an ultrasound actually on it. And from the ultrasound, they was like, you need to do more evaluation to it. So I went from an ultrasound to um, a mammogram. That was my first one, so it hurt it a lot. Like, uh, but I'm glad I went through with it because from that, I got diagnosed with cancer. And then the biopsy, of course, came to let you know exactly what stage and how for along you are. Um, so I did that. Um, I kind of got referred to Dr. Thomas as a surgeon doctor. So he helped actually put in my port and start for his treatment, helped me start. I got, um, for my on oncologist, I see Dr. Ellis with, at um, West Jeff Medical Center, which thank God for him because I was nervous. He made me feel comfortable. He made me feel like I knew everything was going to be okay and he'll be there with me every step of the way, which he has been and still is. Um, also, since my cancer is rare and not a lot of people get diagnosed with it, I also opt to join uh, um, a research study program for people who have cancer like me and they can help. Um, I was looking to help somebody, even if I didn't help myself. Um, I was looking that my research can help further along some of the medical attention. So even though um, I didn't know what to expect, and I was like, well, if I can't save myself. I can save someone else. I help someone else journey a little easier. So I have to do that, and I still don't know if I actually got the research study drug or did I get placebo. I would never know, probably two years later. But um, I'm happy I did that. It was fun. Um, some things cancer can't do is take your, your determination, your pride. Um, so some of the challenges I went through with chemo and losing my hair. Um, with chemo, I had every side effect imagined. I had from the numbness in your toes and your fingers. I had chills, I had chemo arthritis. I even got shingles. Shingles was the worst side effect I ever had from chemo, and it hurt it. The blistering, the burning sensation, and there's no medication besides pain pills. Basically, you have to let it wear off on your own and go away. Even though I had shingles early, I could still get them when I, when I get older. Um, so that was the part of chemo. Um, the losing of the hair, it kind of took my confidence away because I was like, people stared a lot. And you know, I wanted to just scream and be like, you staring, but you can at least say hi, because I feel like we fight for our lives and people just stare at us all the time like something's wrong. So that was a big journey. I stayed inside most of the the chemo journey until my hair started growing back and I started wearing wigs to kind of ease um, going back outside. Um, from that, I started radiation, which also is painful. Um, from the 28 treatments, I like getting burned. Um, my skin got badly burned. It peeled real bad. The cream, um, the cream kind of helped, but it's just, it, it burned for a long time before it got better. Um, that went on for 28 sessions, of course, and I was happy when that was over. That was like, 
that was that was awesome. I finished that actually in January of 2021, and I still had to finish chemo for the research. So even though I was medical finished the medical the the standard chemo, I had to keep going on with chemo for the research study group, which I had to complete there for a year. So I finished that actually March of 27, I mean, uh, 2021, um, I finished that chemo. Um, and from there, I started surgeries. I had my, um, my left breast taken out in October of 2020, and then I had my right mastectomy on May of 2021. And also, after three weeks after that surgery, I had to have an emergency surgery because the incision opened up and they had to go back and redo everything. So I had to do another one in June of 2021. Um, actually, I want to thank a couple of doctors. I want to thank Dr. James Ellis, my gynecologist. He was terrific with chemo. I would recommend him to anyone. I also have Dr. Um, Dr. Tannen, a major plastic surgeon doctor. he had been there from day one to the reconstructive surgery to everything I needed. Um, I also have Dr. Coffrey at Turo. He's my um, surgical doctor. He's very, very, very helpful, very understanding. And he walked you step by step through anything. And I want to just thank West Jeff and Turo Hospital all together because I had um, surgeries at both hospitals. I would like to thank the nurses, not sure their names, but thank you for making me feel comfortable, making my hospital stay a little bit easier. Even though y'all wake us up every 10 minutes to check vitals, but hey, it was amazing. I would like to thank y'all. Um, I would like to thank say, uh, Ms. Germain at the, at the Cancer Center, West Jeff Cancer Center. Um, they have amazing staff there, and they made you, make you feel at home and part of the family. And my Unite sisters, Miss Leslie, Miss Lisa, Miss Leslie, thank y'all for everything. Thank you for giving me the confidence to, to actually want to live again and come out of my shell. So thank everybody. I also would like to thank my family, my friends, my mom, my aunt, Kiana, my sisters, um, for bringing me to my apartments, even when I didn't want to go, pushing me to be like, you got five more to go. We're going to just count the treatments now. Thank y'all for motivating me, keeping me up. Also, thank my children. That was, I don't think I could have been here without them. From helping me take baths, fix food, like making sure I take my medicine on time. Um, thank y'all for everything. My name is LaQuinta Washington. Now I want people to stare. I want them to see the, the person that cancer couldn't kill, the, the intelligence, the, the confidence. So next time you see me, y'all wouldn't help but to stare because I'll be on the wrong way. And this is my story. <laughs>